Welcome back to Nina Renee Knows. Today we are going to go over splicers. I'm going to show you the items you need before you make your splicers and then I'll show you how to use splicers in your bar chart or any chart that you would like to make. Okay, step one is to start with just raw data. So this is my Excel sheet one that just has customer data. So we start with this and we're going to make a pivot table from this raw data. Pivot table done. I just chose city, state, and number of customers for my pivot. And now I'm going to make a bar chart. This is just a very simple, basic chart, but you can use any type of bar chart or any chart type that you would like. So now I'm going to insert my splicers. I go to insert at the top, then I click on splicer. You'll get this box to choose what you want to slice on. So I'm going to slice on city and state. And I also actually want to slice on first it's name. It's not in my pivot, but that's okay. I can still use it in my splicer. So now I'm just going to do a little bit of formatting. Formatting done. I listened back to the recording and realized I was saying splicer instead of slicer. This is what happens when you record late at night. So slicer is <laughs> the correct word. So now I can show you what a slicer does. Now, if I choose anything in my slicer, it will automatically adjust the chart that we're looking at. And that's the beauty of slicers, that you can make selections, what if type of selections, well, what if this, what if that, and you can see the adjustment in the chart. But what if I only choose customers in Los Angeles? How will that adjust the chart? Okay, let's do control click San Diego. I want to see Los Angeles and San Diego. How will that impact the chart? All right, uh, let's, rem let's remove the filter. Let's see all again. What if I choose customers only by the name of Alex? How many customers would that give me? So let's choose Alex. And I see I have a customer named Alex in San Diego and in Dallas. So that's a quick tutorial and explanation on how to use slicers. I encourage you to use slicers. It's a great way to analyze and look at pretty data instead of just presenting and looking at raw data. If you have any questions, leave them down below. If this video was helpful, give it a thumbs up so that others can see it. And I will see you next Sunday.